hello everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do face landmark detection for a uh, react native app especially for android unfortunately i won't be covering ios because it does not support ios as of yet first i'll show you what the output is now the output is little finicky so here as you can see i have one button called pick image once i click on it it opens the photos app from the photos app you can select one image with a face and as you can see the face landmark is little off uh, like this issue is with i think react native like when i select an image the image gets shifted a lot a uh, little bit uh, because i don't face the same issue on native android side i still i do face the same issue on flutter side as well but i i was not able to figure it out why exactly it is happening in case if you are able to figure it out do let me know in the comments so that it will be helpful for others but anyways at least i have got it working like there is just a minor issue so also one more thing like uh, the react native uh, developers or the react native docs has removed the new architecture documentation i don't know why uh, but yeah at least at the time of this recording they have removed the new architectures that's why i can't able to show it to you but uh, i have referred my uh, older uh, you know videos where i have uh, i have my, like list of long videos with new architecture so i have mostly copied pasted code from that video uh, which is common for everything so first you will have to enable the new architecture for android by going to gradle.properties so make this as true next uh, you have to go to build.gradle over here make sure kotlin version it 1.9.0 uh, next uh, you will have to go to app uh, wait i'll come back to that in a bit so we will be creating one turbo module and one fabric module so turbo module for picking the image from our photos app so here uh, this is the turbo module so create a folder called rt and my picker inside that create a package or json again i have copy pasted everything from the docs only this name has been changed this has been changed uh, this has been changed and this has been changed everything else remains the same Next, I have created a podspec file again copied it from the docs only this name has been changed. Next, I have created a JS folder inside that I have created TypeScript file which has a method called pick image and I have changed this name as well. And once pick image is called, uh, we will launch the photo picker but there is a catch. So first, uh, go create an Android folder inside that create a build.gradle file again I have copy pasted everything from the docs only I have changed this version over here then i have changed the compile sdk version to 33 i have changed the package name as well uh, and here i have updated the kotlin version to 1.9.0 next i have created an src main java com rt and my picker i have created my picker package.kt again i have copy pasted it from the docs only thing change is this name over here and this my picker module dot uh, my picker module everywhere next i have created this my picker module.kt again i have copy pasted it from the docs so this name has been changed but if you see i'm actually inside this pick image once i'm overriding this method which we have defined it inside our typescript file i am asking for internet permission i know you don't need to explicitly ask for internet permission, but this is a hack because i want to use register for activity result which you can't use inside a turbo module that's why i had to use this hack so what this does is this moves the callback to the main activity i'll come back to that main activity in a bit so yeah that's it for rt and my picker next you will have to create a folder called rt and my image so first create a file called package.json again i have copy pasted it from the docs only this name will change uh, this will change uh, this will change everything else will remain the same next uh, again i have copied everything from docs create this podspec file only this name will change next create a js folder again i have copy pasted everything from docs only the file name changes it takes an image url and this name has been changed next create an android folder build.gradle again copied it from docs i have updated this to 8.2.0 compile sdk version to 34 uh, main sdk version i have set it to 24 also inside your main android folder build.gradle so not this go to app build.gradle you will have to change the main sdk version to 24 as well because media pipe requires uh, minimum version of 24 okay next uh, you will have to uh, 
I have added this uh, Kotlin standard lib. I have added the media pipe dependency. I have added coil dependency and I have also added constraint layout. So coil is used for loading bitmap inside an image view, media pipe for face landmark detection and constraint layout I will uh, let you know in a bit. Next create an SRC inside that first I have created this overlay view.kt and I have just copy pasted this from the docs. So if you go, you can go over here to overlay view.kt and just click on it you will get all the code so basically uh, like if you want you can pause the video to copy this code basically it is used to uh, draw bounding box uh, around your face okay so that's what uh, it is used for okay next you will have to go to my image package.kt and here again i have copied it from docs only this names has been changed next i have created my image.kt and one thing which i forgot to tell you tell you is go to app go to src main here you will have to create an assets folder and you will have to go to the docs scroll down to the model section click on model section over here and from over here you can just download this model and then drag and drop inside this assets folder next inside my image you, uh, here i am initializing our overlay view this is the image view and I'm extending from constraint layout. The reason I'm using constraint layout because I want the uh, image view and overlay view on top of each other. You can use something like relative layout as well, but I don't really remember the code for it. That's why I'm using constraint layout. Next, we are creating our base options builder. Again, this name should be same whatever you have defined over here. Then I am def defining our face landmarker. I have set the base options as well. And these are all the confidence for it. Number of faces is one running mode is running mode dot image and here i have created our face land marker i am initializing it over here here i have set our id as well as layout params to constraint layout i have defined our constraint set then inside our image view i have set the id i have added it uh, to our constraint layout then i have set the scale uh, type as well uh, i was just uh, playing around with this so that uh, yeah, the error which you saw in the output like i was trying to overcome that but couldn't unfortunately and uh, then set the width and height and then we are constrained constraining it to constraint layouts uh, top start bottom and end similar thing we are doing for overlay view as well exactly the same thing and then we are just applying our constraint set dot apply to this next go to my image manager dot kt create this file again i have copy pasted it from docs only this names has been changed so this uh, so here i have created a life cycle uh, variable as well and everything else has been copied only this name has been changed and once we get the image url we create a bitmap out of it then we uh, convert it to argb underscore 888 format then we scale down the bitmap then we convert it to mp image then we just call face landmarker dot detect mp image and inside over here once we get the uh, result we just pass it to our overlay view as well as the height and width and for the bitmap we just load it inside our image view uh, next what you will have to do so remember i told you that for turbo module the callback goes to the main activity right so this is over here so here i have defined again the same internet permission once you click the button the callback comes over here i have defined one helper method to check permission was granted or not and if yes i'm just doing this get content dot launch uh, image slash star which is the mime type and here you can see i'm using register for activity result uh, once you get the image uri i'm just sending it back to the react native side uh, once that is done uh, make sure you have all the proper imports uh, next you will have to open your terminal and first you will have to cd to your react native project then run this command uh, depending on what folder name you have given then you will have to run this command rtn my image then you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project and then you will have to run uh, this command over here but instead of rn app you will have so here you can see my project name is rn app uh, change it to whatever is your project name so over here as well as over here similarly you will have to run this for rt and my image as well again make sure you change rn app with whatever is your project name then cd to the main android folder and then uh, you will have to run this command okay so this will do code generation for android next i have inside over here i have imported these two things 
and I'm using this use effect so that once uh, the native side sends the image URI I will catch it on the react native side and inside on button press I'm just calling RT and my picker dot pick image and once we have the image URL I'm just passing it to our RT and my image and defining the style and height uh, like width and height for it as well so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye